Okay, students, so let's take a look at this experiment. This experiment is to investigate the rate of transpiration of the leafy shoot. Okay, so uh, probably for the uh, transpiration chapter, okay, uh, it always ask you the question by using the experiment so in this case what we are going to investigate is the waste potometer okay and the leafy shoot okay was left in the laboratory for three hours okay in this setup okay one thing i want to uh, mention is that actually okay in this setup okay the leafy shoot okay the root system is cut so that means this plant is not a whole plant and since it is not a whole plant, so our result will be challenged, okay, it's, uh, as inaccurate, uh, because uh, it is not a whole plant, so we cannot say that, oh, the whole plant, the transpiration rate will be like this or like that, okay. So, uh, in this setup, if we only use a very small plant, that's okay, we can keep the root, okay, but the point is that, even we keep the root okay the root will absorb water by itself okay but what we are going to measure is the transpiration okay that means even the water is absorbed it must be due to transpiration pool okay so the point is that once we cut the root system okay it is not a whole plant the result will not be accurate okay even if we keep the uh, root system okay the result is also inaccurate okay so it is uh, just like a limitation okay uh, it's free very very hard to uh, uh, overcome okay so uh, let's go back to the experiment so this experiment is the waste potometer okay and it is different from the another type of potometer which is bubble potometer okay and the difference is that okay for the waste potometer because it can uh, give us two different results okay the first result is that the change in the reading of electronic balance okay so in this part okay and the second result is that the change in the volume of water okay, in the measuring cylinder okay so that means we measure this oil level the change of the uh, oil layer level okay so we can know that the change of volume uh, of water in the measuring cylinder and for these two results, okay, actually the waste potometer can help us to find the third result, okay, the third data, the first data and the second data, okay, the first data, the change in reading of the electronic balance, uh, actually that's the water loss, okay, of the plant or of the leafy shoot, okay, so the unit is gram, okay. And the other one, okay, is the change in the volume of water in the measuring cylinder, okay. In this data, actually, is indicates the water uptake or the water absorption, okay, from the plant, okay. So the unit at this time is ml. Sometimes some test book or the, some question will uh, use the unit as uh, cm cube, okay, but they are the same, that's okay. And by using these two data, okay we can calculate the third data okay so the point is that we use the water loss okay i don't not the water loss okay the water uptake okay the water uptake minus the water loss okay and then we can get the third result water retained in the plant in this case in the leafy shoot okay so in this case we know that we can obtain the third uh, result okay from this experiment and let's go back to the description okay so uh, at the very beginning the plant okay actually we uh, leave it in the laboratory for three hours okay and then the experiment was then repeat under the same environmental condition for example okay for example the light intensity okay the temperature the humidity okay or the wind speed okay something like that so that means the environmental uh, uh, condition okay doesn't uh, do, do not change a lot okay but one thing we need to change is that the upper surface of the leaves of all the leaves okay of the shoot was smeared with the vaseline okay so vaseline is a very thick 
very uh, sticky okay lotion and it can block the stomata okay it can block the stomata so that means if the vaseline can block the stomata it can reduce the water loss okay so that's something we are going to investigate here so uh, from this setup okay and then we can get uh, several data okay so in this table we can see that treatment one uh, leaves not smeared by the uh, with the vaseline so actually it implies that both surface of the leaves okay both surface they can carry out water loss or what we so call transpiration water loss can uh, occur here okay and the treatment two upper surface of the all leaves smear with vaseline so that means the upper surface smear with the vaseline but the lower surface okay is clear okay so that means for treatment two only the lower surface okay will lose water only the lower surface will lose water so that's what we are going to investigate okay so go back to the table change in the reading of the balance okay that's the water loss okay in gram and change in the volume of water that's the water absorption or water uptake okay and the unit is ml okay so uh, remember that even the unit they are different but actually we can use this simple idea to make them become the same because the density of the water okay is one okay so the point is that one gram over uh, a cm cube okay so the point is that mass of one ml water is equal to one gram of water okay so that's why these two numbers okay we can uh, directly use them to uh, for calculation okay we don't need to change the unit at all even we change the unit okay the number the value okay doesn't change so in this case okay, by this table we have already had four data okay so let's make two more data for ourselves okay so for the treatment one okay so actually we can use our minus p water uptake minus water loss okay so that's the water retained in treatment one okay in treatment one okay and for treatment two okay so that would be s minus q and that's the water retained in the leafy shoot okay in treatment two okay so that's why we shall have six data now okay and uh, it will be much more convenient for us to look for the correct answer so uh, let's take a look at the uh, uh, answers option a water absorbed by the shoot is uh, in treatment one uh, from p minus r so probably when we take a look at the table we can see that the water absorption okay of the shoot okay in treatment one actually r is the answer already okay we don't need to do any calculation so in this case the wrong part is here okay and how can we uh, make it correct okay so just make it out it's okay okay water absorption by the shoot in treatment one is out okay directly and for treatment two uh, for option B water loss or okay, transfer okay you can see that transpiration okay water loss by the shoot okay in treatment two from R minus S okay so in this case let's take a look from the table okay the table okay tell us that R and S they are the value of water uptake so if the point is that water loss by the shoot in treatment tool from uh, do, do, doing the calculation okay uh, from the data of water uptake it doesn't make sense okay so that's the point okay actually is not correct here okay so water loss from the shoot in treatment two probably refer to the table it should be the q okay the value q so easy to correct okay we can correct it as q okay or if you think that no i would like to keep this number from r minus s okay that means these two number okay i would like to keep them okay so how can we correct the first part okay to make it correct again so the point is that 
R minus S, okay, it will be the water uptake, okay, by the shoot in treatment two, okay, from R minus S. But the point is that, okay, but the point is that by the shoot, okay, is a little bit uh, tricky because for treatment two actually is not a whole plant, okay. Uh, apart from it doesn't have the root system, okay, also the upper surface of the leaves, okay, is also smeared with the uh, Vaseline, okay, so that means the water uptake by the leafy shoot, okay, actually the water absorbed, okay, is only due to the transpiration pool, okay, generated by the lower surface water loss, okay, so in this case, I would like to um, remind you one thing, is that, oh, how can the plant, okay, absorb water, probably is due to the transpiration, and then the transpiration, it will create, okay, the transpiration pool, okay, the pooling force, okay, to absorb water along the root to the stem to the leaf, okay, and lastly, that's why it, there will be water absorption or water uptake, okay, so that's the option B, okay, and option C, water retained by the shoot, okay, in treatment 2 from S minus Q, and that's what we did, okay, so in uh, option C, okay, water retained can be calculated by using this uh, calculate uh, this formula okay s minus q water uptake minus water loss okay so option c is our answer okay and let's see the last option option d okay option d uh, it says that water loss from the lower surface of the leaf okay of the shoot in three hour from p minus q so the point is that okay the point is that from P minus Q, okay, actually this two number, okay, this two number is about water loss. It, it makes sense, okay, it makes sense, okay, but once we minus, okay, we use this, uh, 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 these two numbers, okay, to do some calculation from P minus Q, probably it does not indicate, okay, the water loss from the lower surface because, okay, because for the value P, Okay, that's the water loss from both surface. Okay, and for the value Q, it's only the water loss from the lower surface. Okay, so once we minus this number P minus Q, okay, actually it refers okay to the upper surface. Okay, of the leaf. Okay, the water loss. Okay, so in in case we would like to keep. Okay, from P minus Q, okay, so we need to change, okay, the lower surface to upper surface, okay, that's the number, that's the calculation. Or, if we would like to keep all oh, the lower surface, okay, I would like to keep it, or oh, the lower surface of the leaves, okay, the water loss, okay, so somehow the answer, okay, is not P minus Q, okay, actually, it's directly Q, it's okay, okay, so, uh, in this question, we know that or oh, uh, what is the uh, importance or how is this so special? Okay, uh, is the waste photometer. Okay, and also we know that oh, which answer is correct, which answer is wrong, and how can we clarify it, and how can we correct it? Okay, make it to become uh, to become a correct statement.